All right, now I'll give you a tour of the setup menu. This is where you would set things like the DMX address, audio sensitivity, max servo voltage, startup positions, things like that. Uh, you'd want to have this menu up on the screen in front of you so you can follow along as you navigate through it. Basically, it's pretty simple. It's three levels deep. The first level is blue, second level is green. If there is a third level in your section, it will be yellow. That will be indicated on the status LED. When the light is red and you hit set, it means you will be going up to the previous level. So you can follow through these steps. You'll see red, you'll hit set, you'll be back to green. If you follow through all the green steps down to red and hit set, you're back to blue. So you're essentially just traversing this tree of blue, green, yellow, uh, selecting the option that you would like to change. So we'll set the DMX address as an example. So to enter the setup menu, you hold down, hit set. As you can see, we're at one blue blink now. So that's where we want to be if we want to adjust the DMX address. So we'll hit set. Now we have one green blink. If I hit up or down, in this case there's actually only one green because of the operating mode we're in. So we immediately get the exit option. So we'll go back up to green and we'll set the DMX address. So we're going to hit set. Now yellow, one yellow uh, blink is the first digit. So I'll for example set the DMX address to 75. So I'll go to 7, hit down. Now you can see it's blinking two times. I'll hit five. Now it's blinking three times and I'll just wait and it'll time out. If you don't have a digit, then like if, if your DMX is only one or two digits long, if your address is only one or two digits long, just wait and it will skip the section for you. So that's how we set the DMX address. So to prove it, uh, we'll go down to the exit, which is red, and we'll tap set. And now we're back to the blue and we'll go down to the bottom of the blue, tap set. Now we're back to normal operation. That's showing us that we have no DMX signal. So I'll power it down and I'm going to power it back up and now watch for the DMX address when the light turns blue. Okay, so that's our version 1.17, blue, 7, 5. So DMX address is 75. Alright, so now I'll give you one more example. We'll go into the installer setup menu, which is three blue blinks, and then select the number of servos that we have enabled. So if you're only using four or five servos, you might want to select only four or five servos, and that way the uh, servo DMX won't allocate as many DMX addresses to itself. So it will only use, for example, five servos or five DMX channels if you set this to five. Um, by default, it uses all, you know, 8, 12, or 16, depending on the model that you purchased. So I'm going to enter the setup menu again. Uh, installer setup menu is three blinks. Okay, so we're at three blue blinks. We'll enter that. The number of servos is two green. So we'll go down to two green. Select that. Oh, and actually now you'll see the number of servos is here. I don't think I had to hit set there to be honest. I made a mistake, but now you'll see uh, the number of servos is represented on the servo LEDs. So all I have to do here is just turn the knob to select the correct amount of servos. So I could set it to five. And then I would just, you know, go up or down. So this, that menu actually doesn't have a yellow tree. It just has the, uh, just shows the setting value up on top as represented by the manual which I should have been paying attention to. So the value is shown on the servo LEDs here. And that's it. So now to exit that we would just go down all the way until we see red. That is the exit. Now last time when I exited I had to exit the green, go back to the blue and then exit the blue. Well if you know you're done and you just want to go all the way back to uh, normal operation, there's a little trick. You just press and hold set while you're on the red at any point. And if you hold for a couple of seconds, it goes all the way back out of the uh, menu, back to normal operation. So now it is a solid red, which indicates no DMX signal. If we were to turn the knob, we would go back to uh, manual control mode and take control of the servo. 
So that's it. Uh, the manual can always be downloaded at uh, help.friedideas.com slash 421, which is the model number of the product here. Uh, we'll always be updating it, adding new features and firmware. So check your firmware uh, when you boot up and compare it to what we have available online. You can see what features we've added, uh, if it's something that you might want, and then update it using uh, our software. Thanks for watching.